I feel like there's a, a big void in how we diagnose recurrent corneal erosion. Right now we look at the slit lamp, at the cornea, we look at the surface, look for irregularities, we put vital dyes on the cornea, and look for any irregularity on the surface of the cornea. The problem is, I've learned that there are pathology that you might miss trying to diagnose corneal erosion this way. When I was in surgery, I noticed some patients would have either irregular epithelium or an abrasion just by simply draping their eyes. And then I thought to myself, you know, some patients after cataract surgery, even months afterward, would have symptoms of foreign body sensation, irritation. And then they would specifically tell me, I never had this problem until I had surgery. And so I took a corneal spud and I started to check the cornea. I started sweeping the cornea. And the corneal spud is really like a small hockey stick instrument used to remove foreign bodies. But I took the back end of it. I kept sweeping the cornea with it. I was finding these focal areas of loose epithelium using that instrument. And then lo and behold, those patients were getting relief from their symptoms. So I put two and two together and I felt like, okay, these symptoms are related to these areas of erosion. But interestingly enough, on those particular patients, those erosions were right over their corneal cataract incision. So it told me that there was clearly some association between the surgery itself and their symptoms. With Corsa Catena, we developed this instrument called the Kim Corneal Sweeper. And it's essentially looks like kind of like a UFO or an M&M candy shaped disc instrument. It's, it has a straight handle and it has the smooth contour that you would need so that it doesn't seem scary to use it, but it also has sidedness. So it's not like, it's not just a round ball, it's got sidedness. So you can hold it vertically and be able to see, and it's got a thin profile so you can actually see what's happening as you're sweeping the cornea. We developed this Kim Corneal Sweeper in 2020, and I've, I've done it on hundreds of patients. However, of course, you want to have good data, and so we actually recruited 20 patients, so that's 40 eyes, and uh, we basically had very strict exclusion criteria. So any risk factor for recurrent corneal erosion, we ruled out those people and excluded them from the study. Now, we did have two patients who had and a focal area of erosion on their superior cornea near the limbus. So it tells me maybe there's just a different category of disease. Maybe these people are like what we call form frust, meaning it's very, very early. So maybe they have this maybe an early stage of that, or maybe this is some type of atypical epithelial basement membrane disease. The fact is we really don't know. And I think more research is needed and I'm, I'm really excited about that. So the beauty of this technique is, as I've said, it's non-invasive, it's very safe, it's very easy to do. And this is not just limited to ophthalmologists. I mean, I think optometrists should be able to do the procedure as well. We need to partner with all eye care professionals in diagnosing this problem, right? Because, you know, when a patient comes in and they're having an issue, you don't wanna just throw drops at them. An optometrist can do gonioscopy, they can also do this procedure as well. And if we do it, they are going to be better doctors for it. So in summary, I do think we have to have a paradigm shift in how we look at recurrent corneal erosion. It's not a binary thing. You look at the eye, if the cornea looks fine, there's nothing there. No, you could have an invisible corneal erosion, but you have to perform the corneal sweep test to find the occult corneal erosion. By using this instrument, and being able to identify this problem, we're all gonna be better. Better doctors and also better outcomes and results for patients.